Alrighty, so the next commandment I wanted to mess around with was actually my last killer. I just looked through all of the commandments, and I do think Monsk Beats could be a little interesting, but it's gonna, like, it's not really, like, super impactful as far as, like, all it does is kind of prevent old Russian stuff, which is cool and all, but I actually don't think I see as many old rushers uh, with melee doing such insane damage. So we're gonna just be using uh, Malaskula here. We're gonna basically just try to not attack as much as possible with Scotty, give her debuffs. There's a lot of bonds in the meta right now, so she hopefully we'll get a ton of debuffs uh, using the um, DN to sort of just tank for us. And then we have, I couldn't really think of a, a better backliner than Bon. Which is funny because like I, this this team doesn't have a whole lot of debuffs that I'm actually applying to the enemy, so that's kind of the the one factor. It feels like a lot of the backliners in this game actually rely on um, enemies having a lot of debuffs on. So a bit unfortunate there. Let's go for uh, taunt up turn one, and then maybe get a little bit of damage out here into hmm. Maybe the AoE. He doesn't actually have nearly as many debuffs on this team. So the the demon team, surprisingly, like, although I think that it's less effective for melee, because you're not going to be able to get your, your passive nearly as easy with melee, um, it is, you know, countering a lot of these, like, debuff sort of teams and stuff like that uh why did i not gain oh because he's disabling the commandment i was like okay that's also another problem is that me doing commandment showcases <laughs> i i don't get to use what i'm what i'm hoping for which is very unfortunate so i guess technically i should just go ahead and try to use some of scotty's cards then okay so let's go ahead and get rid of him We'll just debuff up, and then I can go ahead and use this. That'll give us all creation for next turn, but I'm not going to have a card unless I draw one here, so that could be a little troublesome. Did that get him below 50%? Okay, thank God. <laughs> Which, even then, without him having all creation, sometimes his, uh, his cards do not do as much as I'm kind of hoping for. That's unfortunate that I kill him, and then Deanne gets the two... <laughs> The two Ignites. Um, that's okay, though. I think. Maybe. She's disabled as well. I did disable her, so that's also an extra debuff there. So that's kind of nice. We've given Melly zero stacks of his passive, so that's great. Uh, AoE here. Oh my god, still chunking. That's, that's actually ridiculous that it did that much. <sighs> okay, I, I was about to say he has another card. I'm, I'm actually dead. Uh, wow. <laughs> actually insane. Um, let's go ahead and throw these out, and then I'll use the level 3 on him, I guess. <laughs> that was... Why did he do so much damage? I feel like if I don't have all creation, like he really doesn't do that, that great. But... Watch me not kill. Okay, <laughs> thank God. Uh, this should get me back up to full health, or not not quite, but he he could encroach me here and kill. I guess it just depends. We'll see. Uh, I am also, I didn't even think about it, but we're taking debuffs off of Scotty. Uh, I don't know if he just didn't target there. I don't think he targeted. That is, oh my god, that is so unfortunate. I've done something like that before. Absolutely devastating. <laughs> I feel really bad for him on that one. Oh man, that is uh, that is rough. I am sorry. Um, we're in champ one now, so maybe more potential for bot matches, but we'll see how things go. I could potentially just try to, if it's a bot, I'll try to forfeit out before we win uh, and try to push myself back down into champ two, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm looking for, because now we have a bond on the enemy team, and we can use that to our advantage. He does have two true awakened characters, so he's been on the grind. Um, I almost want a double AOE. I don't know if that's smart. Nah, it's definitely not smart. What? Well, I mean, I'll I'll cleanse at the beginning of the turn. Because of the bond debuffs anyway, so screw it. We'll just go for it. We're going to disable ourselves because of the Tarmio link. 
but that's just another debuff that we can actually take off of ourselves. So she gains two. Uh, bon is going to put three on every character, so that'll help as well. We'll cleanse those off. Uh, and then we'll pop True Magic, or True Magic, all creation, and that'll cleanse Melee, which is great. Ooh. Mm, this might hurt. Okay. Maybe not. Alright. Doing some good damage there. We now have all creation. He did stance cancel me. Oh, I don't have all creation. Okay. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um... Why do I not have all creation? Shouldn't it take... Okay, I don't know. Oh well, let's go for this. We'll get all creation, and then I'm going to throw one more of these out because I don't want to attack with Scotty. Losing the buff is a bit... Un or the stance is a bit unfortunate, actually. Ooh, but I think I kill Melly anyway. Yeah, I think I kill Melly here. Boom, nice. 60k. <laughs> not in terribly impressive, but enough to kill, so that's, uh, that's kind of a win. Now we have all creation. We do have some pretty good debuffs going. He's going to apply three more here, unless he just goes straight into Scotty, which he's disabled this turn, so I'm not even that worried about it. Every skill he uses it all is now also going to put on Merlin debuffs as well. So that is... I'm going to be just an absolute monster here. I don't have any melee cards, which sucks, because uh, I, can't, I can't really do anything here. But... Um, I think we just go ahead and attack in because we're not going to be able to... We just need to get rid of some of these cards out of hand. We're not going to get the Melascula um, Commandment, like the Ignite Stacks or anything, but she deals actually some pretty good damage, plus we can Ult Drain with uh, Deanne here. Actually kills. Okay, 120. Pretty good. The stat increase from Scotty is kind of going crazy here. Uh, so now we have Ultimate, we have Melee. We're, we're pretty much good to go. Um, I, th I think if I attack and then forfeit at the beginning of the attack, I think I can still win. So if I do it like this, um, even if this kills, which it doesn't quite kill, but this ultimate would kill, uh, I'm pretty much good there. So we'll try to drop back down into champ two. So that way we can try to find some more players. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Ooh, okay, we have a human team. Which actually doesn't matter. Well, mm. He gets to go first. He has, a, he has a thousand more CC than me, unfortunately. If I was able to use a better backliner than Bon, like a more updated backliner, that is, I would be fine. But... Ooh, that is a lot of damage. Yeah. Well, he's dead, unfortunately. I, depending on card draw here, I might be able to push for Deanne's ultimate. And then maybe win with an ult here. I'm not positive on that. We don't have any damage dealt stacks yet. But, I mean, we've got some decent debuffs on Scotty here. Um... He's just going to move cards so he doesn't give me any debuffs. That is very unfortunate, but I can just do something like this, maybe. We'll see. Deanne can deal some pretty good damage, but I think a lot of it relies on her damage dealt stacks, so... I We got type advantage. I'm going to say we kill. Nice. <laughs> very good. Without Escanor in play, we actually do stand a pretty decent chance here. Um, ooh, okay. That's actually kind of good because I'm pretty sure at level 3 this is a stance removal. So just in case he actually stances here, we should be in a good position. Pushing for Bond's ultimate, which this might deal some pretty decent damage, but every attack gets us closer to Scotty's ultimate, or uh, Scotty's like debuffs higher. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, let me go ahead and just attack with these. Because I I'm hoping this is enough to kill. Ooh, that is not enough to kill. Hmm. No way. <laughs> no way. Oh the <laughs> Bon. Bon surprisingly 
better than Melly? Question mark. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of crazy? Hmm. I think not. All right, we got another demon team, unfortunately. So that means that I'm probably not going to be able to get great usage out of the Scotty here. Uh, in that scenario, I guess I'm going to go ahead and throw a Scotty debuff out. So that way I can at least give her something. I guess I could potentially just not attack with Melee turn one and just double attack with Scotty to give her the disable as well. Uh, plus it would get rid of his... Um, buff, so we could deal more damage, and if you attack with her buff removal first instead of her trap card, it'll also give you some, I think it's all stats? Um, I know it's like at least a basic stats increase or something like that, some sort of stat increase. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, doing some pretty decent damage to the Deanne. Turn flips over, pretty good, pretty good HP overall. Um, I don't have the greatest... Hmm. I guess we're gonna go with this, because this is gonna remove the damage, um, damage, uh, buff, the, <laughs> the, I don't remember what it's called, um, oh no, that's really bad, okay, well, uh, we're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle here. We do have good HP, but the first card that he uses is going to Stance Cancel, and it's also going to Encroach, which is really bad. Doesn't matter. Didn't need to Encroach, actually. <laughs> you see, it's actually crazy how good the Demon Team is at just, like, not letting you... Oh, Scotty lives. Um, like, use any sort of, like, gimmicks or anything like that. It's very unfortunate, actually. Uh, let's go for this one, into this one, into AoE. I think AoE is my best chance, because even if I get rid of one of them, the other one's going to kill me. So, putting some debuffs on Scotty here. I don't think we kill. I don't think it's enough. Yeah. Alright, well, that's fine though. I mean, we'll, we'll get to, um, we'll get to drop back down into Champ 2 again. So that should be, I guess, for the best. But, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm not expecting to win every single game. These are really, like, gimmicky, sort of, like, commandment kind of focused teams in general. So it's not like it really matters if we win or lose, so. Uh, okay, last card here. If Bond survives, he does. Okay, we... Mm. Not really enough to do anything crazy here. Uh... This will give us all creation, but unfortunately, because I can only use two cards, it's not really going to matter. Kill the Esterosa, which is good, but... No. Wait. I guess because we kill Esterosa there, it doesn't actually give us the all creation buff, because he had three stacks on with the attack, but because I guess they didn't get removed, he doesn't gain the orb. Okay. That makes somewhat sense. I lose here, of course, but... Um, okay, back into Chant 2. I've got maybe one more game. We'll see. I've, obviously, I think this one's probably going to be one of the weaker comps that we use with the Commandments. It's just... Um, I like. I really like Scotty, don't get me wrong, but going to be a little bit more dependent on them having Bon or not, which is, a, you know, maybe not like a complete hit or miss, but... Uh, definitely fighting some more demon teams today than I'm used to. Okay, so, speak of the devil, another demon team, and this is our last game, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I wonder if we should just go for... Let me... Well, I need a stance first. Let me stance first, we'll remove his thing, we'll put a debuff on ourselves. we'll double attack into Demon King, so that way it gives us a debuff. We will remove one with, um with Melly, but it's not the end of the world, because it'll get us closer to all creation, which is nice. Um, if he uses... Hmm... She also doesn't uh, work with Melly's passive, which kind of sucks, because we're not putting on any sort of, like, stacks or anything. But, I guess it is what it is. There's not really anything we can do about that. So... Oof, okay. It's a really big chunk of damage there. 
AoE might kill Deanne here. Oh, yeah. Definitely killing Deanne here. Okay, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, the demon team is definitely the bane of this setup, for sure. Um, we don't put on a whole lot of debuffs, so maybe we can pull something out here. If I, if I don't... Like, if I don't worry too much about melee, I'm not super confident in that, of course. Okay, good damage there. That was damage cap, I'm pretty sure. Level 2 AoE should deal some pretty good damage. Okay, not too bad. Melee obviously took it like a champ. Over half HP on Estorosa, though. Uh, her debuffs are gone now, so we're not getting really any use out of her passive, which is very unfortunate. And he's not got any debuffs that he's going to put on us, unless this is an AoE... Uh, it is. Okay, so that's actually the worst play he probably could have done, because now if he doesn't kill my melee here, ooh, which that was a pretty good chunk. Um, oh, encroach. No. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I mean, he had it all kind of planned out anyway. That's fine. Good game to him, to be honest. Okay. Uh, well, we might have time for one more. Let me, yeah, let me grab one more ticket. We'll see if we can, we, we'll see if we can end with a win. Ooh, okay. Um, unknown team is pretty interesting. I wonder if it would be better to attack so we get hell debuffs. I'm going to go for that. It feels counterintuitive, of course, because the whole point of this is to kind of use the, um, whatchamacallit, the commandment. But, that does give us a pretty decent amount of debuffs. Obviously, she's going to be taking damage from them, which is a bit unfortunate. But, I don't know. Maybe it's not too bad. Uh, we put some debuffs on Melly, actually. Which is, I mean, I think Tear would have given us more than we needed, really, anyway. So, it's not, like, the biggest deal in the world. If I could have got another buff removal, that would have been good. But, she's also debuffed this turn, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot, anyway. Um... Hmm. Okay, so let's go for this into... Oh, wait, went for his ultimate. Uh, this into this. That'll get us all creation, and we'll remove this stance at the end, which might be kind of bad considering, like, we might take a lot of damage here, plus we're putting a lot of hell debuffs on ourselves. Okay, counter wasn't that bad. Uh, decent little bit of damage there. We are still disabled, though. That is a key factor. If you attack into Tarmia Link, I forgot about that. It uh, Even though it cleanses you, the disable actually gets applied after the cleanse, so that is a bit unfortunate. Um, hmm... I don't know what level ult this is, but I'm assuming I'm dead. Okay, Scotty dies, unfortunately. And that would have been great if she could have lived, because that would have been a lot of stacks. Yeah. Alright, well. Not a big fan of this one. Gotta say, I... I don't know. Maybe there's a better comp that I could use, but, I mean, when you think of debuffing yourself with, like, a Melascula comp, you know, the first thing I come up with is Scotty, of course. Um, not sure. I don't really know, like, I'm not super excited to try Monspeed or, like, Derriere or Gloxenia, but they could be okay. Maybe I'll get, like, pleasantly surprised. I just need to come up with a decent team for them, but either way. That's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a chill week, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're hoping for some interesting stuff. I think by the time this one comes out, we'll see who the, the half of, or uh, half festival banner is, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. You guys will know by the time this comes out, but I'm looking forward to it. It comes out tomorrow for me. So, either way. Thanks for watching. See you later.